In this video, I'll show you how to upgrade from OS X Yosemite to Al Capitan. What you need to do first is install Al, Cap Al Capitan on a different partition as a recovery OS. The video for that is on screen now and is also in the video description. Once you have done that, go to on OS X Yosemite and then open up the Mac partition that you just created as a recovery. Open up the system, the library, and then extensions. Here you would want to copy all the kicks you used to get the other operating system working correctly. Now what you want to do is open up Al Capitan Installer, what you've got from the App Store. Agree, agree, and then choose the your right hard disk and click Install. Now click restart. Once booted, you should see a screen just with the Apple logo which says installing. This process will probably take around 30 minutes to complete. Once your computer rebooted, slip into your BIOS selection menu. Once your computer has rebooted, enter your BIOS selection menu and select to USB drive. From there, select the recovery Mac which you 
made before. Here you'll install your kick, all the kicks what you needed to get your operating system up and running. Once bit it into your recovery operating system, open up Kext Wizard. My kicks wizard is located on my main hard drive, so I'm going to go and open it through there. In kicks wizard, click on installation. Now open the folder where you save the kicks at the start. Select all the kicks you want to install and drag and drop them into Kicks Wizard. Select, select your main hard drive, mine is Macintosh HD, and click install. Click OK and now go maintenance. Oh wait, now go Macintosh HD. This part is for people with a NVIDIA graphics card. A system, library, extensions, go down to NVD, right and delete NVDA Resmin, NVDA Resmin Tesla, and NVDA Startup. Select those three and delete them. Now, over here on Kex Wizard, go make sure you're on the Maintenance tab, click System Library Extensions. Make sure it's selected as Macintosh HD and click Execute. All, pro all tasks were finished. Now reboot into your main operating system. Select your USB drive. Options. Graphics Injector menu, Disable Intel, Spacebar, Without Caches.
and that is all you need to do. As you can see, I've got a working upgrade of OSX Al Captain. Um, I've got all my documents and softwares all still installed. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.